Hey guys, uh, we wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, this is probably going to be our last State of the Union update before the end of the Kickstarter campaign. It's been a very exciting campaign, Toby thinks so. Um, we've uh, been all over the place to show Cast AR in public. Um, we went to an indie showcase in Seattle. We went to GDC Next, the Homebrew Computer Club. We showed um, all these industry legends that created the computer industry, which was super exciting. And we've been touring around. We've been showing folks at um, a bunch of big businesses, um, which is super exciting. So there's a lot of interest in more professional uses of Cast AR. Um, Rick? So while we were uh, gone to our exciting California trip, we hit our $800,000 stretch goal, which was to add earbuds and a microphone to the hardware side of the cast table. And they're not supposed to suck, right? And they won't suck, and you can, can be removed. you can remove, and you can use your old headphones, you know, we'll, we'll do all the good stuff. Uh, so as of right now, we're within a couple hundred dollars of hitting our $900,000 stretch goal, or we just hit it, or we have exceeded it, or we unhit it, but... We're right around it. It probably is hit because uh, I keep messing up on this video. So it uh, that's pretty good. Uh, and that, the $900,000 one was to add a gyro. Yeah. And why would we want to add a gyro? The gyro is going to be very useful for VR applications where you want to th spin 360 degrees and uh, move away from tracking markers. So with tracking markers, you have absolute positioning. But with the gyro, you'll be able to continue to track... Um, uh, when you're facing away from those. Would we would we still use them both at the same time? You can use them both at the same time, and you could use the gyro by itself, maybe when you're traveling on the road, which uh, uh, continue playing your cast AR games uh, on the go. That sounds like the best of both worlds. It is the best of That's both worlds. That's really neat. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, just a few minutes or hours or many hours ago, we put out a update video that shows what it would look like if you had a cockpit simulator with cast AR. And so we had a very simple uh, arcade game back in the late or early 70s, probably the late 70s, uh, Star Wars cockpit, and put some retro material inside of it and along the side and shot cast AR through that experience. And so check out that update. It looked really cool. Um, I'm, I'm excited for racing games. Uh, you know, with the, the Vario perception drivers, we can do Dirt 2, which is a race car game, and that's, I'm going to build a cockpit for that personally. I also discovered that you shouldn't tell Jerry that her hardware got rained on. She might get mad. Yeah, I was a little upset. <laughs> uh, let's see. We will be doing several update videos tomorrow, including for one of the indie games that is also on Kickstarter right now. And... Uh, it's Dragons of... Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, check the text. Yes. Uh, I'm spacing the name. Exactly. Um, and our live stream, which is going to be exciting. So we're going to live stream the last uh, six to eight hours of our Kickstarter campaign. We're going to have gifts that we're going to give away. We're going to have call-ins. Um, we're going to talk about our uber stretch goal for one million dollars and uh, answer questions um, probably be very silly um, have have a lot of fun uh, so uh, be sure to check in uh, on on that and and uh, interact with us and yeah and finally before we get to the finally part <laughs> so this is the pps before ps uh, if you have a desire to increase your pledge and we hope you do uh, you can use the handy calculator which is either further down on the Kickstarter page or also down on this update link and you can figure out what options you want and it will conveniently tell you what pledge amount you want why would someone want to update their uh, pledges because they want more cool stuff so say I bought Jerry coffee but I want to continue to give her coffee but I also want to get a pair of glasses how do we do that? You would do that by either <laughs> pledging for Jerry Buy Me Coffee or the... Uh, you, would, you would add, um, yeah. like for instance, glasses to it. Yes. And you would put it right into the Jerry Wants Coffee um, section. Yeah. And then after we were done, right? Yes. We would, we're going to contact you and find out 
why it's um, a pair of glasses plus three dollars for a cup of coffee. We want to understand what you ordered. And Toby is digging his back claws into my hand. Ah. <laughs> um, so there's going to be some more information in the text along with this update that explains how to use the calculator and how you can update your um, pledges so you can get everything that you want. Now for the Uber. Now Uber. for the Uber one million dollars. All right. So this is what you're going to get for a million dollars. Sharks get with lasers? No, oh. no Tobies with lasers either. Uh, but we are going to get multiplayer network zombie game. This is kind of the point where we knew that Cast AR was magical. This is a game that we made on the Source Engine, or Rick did actually, and uh, people got so addicted to it they wouldn't leave the hardware lab. They would just sit in there and play for four hours. Uh, Rick is going to build the same game and put it on Unity, and then we'll be able to all get together on game nights and uh, play locally or remotely. So I look forward to seeing you guys out there um, on game nights, and I'm going to kick your butt at um, the zombie maze game. Um, we're also going to do a stylish clamshell that will go over the top of the glasses. So we'll clip over them and protect them. Um, we'll also do a plug-in for Maya. How does that work, Rick? Uh, it will be software that will be for free that you can use Maya then to uh, visualize your models and creations with in 3D under Cast Air. And at a million dollars, we're going to do an RFID synth factory. Now, how does that work? Ah, so you'll have RFID-enabled cars that you can hook together just like a modular synth, and you'll be able to hook oscillators and filters and envelope generators together and move them around and uh, do synthesizer stuff. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that one. That's going to be cool. Uh, we're going to add haptics to the um, wand. Um, you, a lot of you folks have been asking for it, and, and a million bucks we'll be able to add to the vibrator motors to the wand so when you smash into things you'll feel it. You know, you move through 3D space and bam, you'll feel it. So, um, you want to talk about pew pew eyes? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Josie, back uh, probably around April when she first saw the technology, had the most brilliant idea that uh, since cast AR, you can actually see the people you play with, that uh, what better to show your anger and angst towards somebody than by having red evil eyes. And so being able to change the color of evil Toby eyes, or cast AR, the projectors, when you look at somebody, and you could change it to red, or maybe, you know, even more blue if you're feeling down, or some other colors, <laughs> that... Uh, you know, it's just a, a silly little feature, but you can have a little fun with it. Uh, all right, and for the last... Um, <laughs> hey, don't lick the microphone, Toby. And for the last million-dollar stretch goal, we're going to add an ambient light sensor. <laughs> Toby, no, microphone, microphone. Uh, an ambient light sensor that um, will detect the room's light and will adjust the projectors to brighten them or darken them depending on... Uh, the the room lights. So you guys have asked for it, and we're gonna we're gonna add it in there. And so it's been <laughs> our update's been a little <laughs> rambly. Um, it's we, late. It's late. Yeah, and it's late. We've been working hard. We're really excited um, that we're coming towards the end. This is the last stretch. Um, tell your friends. Um, see if we can get it over a million dollars. And uh, we really really appreciate the folks that have have pledged up to this point and been with us um, even before the Kickstarter began. And even after Kickstarter, we will continue to provide updates on how we do everything and how we accomplish and where we'll be for the next shows so you can come and see it and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, you guys are going to be part of the design process, so your input is important. We want to hear it often. All right. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you at one million, hopefully.